Without going into hard numbers, here's conceptually how my friend estimated the volume of a pile of carpet foam by sticking a piece of paper into it to estimate the area using calculus. Here's my pretend foam. I'm using clay, but at the time we were looking at a fabric protecting foam coating being applied to the surface of carpet, and this foam was being rolled out by a mechanical cylinder as I showed in the other video. My friend used a piece of paper and stuck it crosswise into the foam to get its profile. He used a measuring tape to get the total length, width, and height of the foam. Then he approximated the function, which wasn't too hard because it was uniform and basically looked like a semicircle. He integrated the function to get the area, and that times the length was the total volume of the foam. It wasn't perfect, but nothing is, and that's engineering in a nutshell. It was one of the smartest things I felt like I had ever seen a fellow co-op do up to that point because it showed that he understood calculus in a way that I hadn't yet. And here's why that matters. As engineers, we need to understand the math behind computations that our design software performs because otherwise we can't question the results. We can't validate it according to our own fundamental understanding of calculus and physics. At the core of the discipline of engineering, this is what we do. We are not technicians who turn the valves or operators who key in the set points. We design, validate design, troubleshoot abnormalities, and develop improvements. And calculus is where our understanding of the universe begins. Follow Future Chemie for Engineering Info Daily.